Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Today we are going to focus our topic on aerodynamics, basically on uh, shock wave. So let's see what is shock wave. Shock wave is a type of propagating disturbance and it moves faster than a local speed of a sound in a fluid around 340 meter per second. A shock wave is a high pressure wave produced by an object when that object moves faster than the speed of sound in a same medium. And it is also an extremely thin region maybe of 10 power minus 5 centimeter and uh, the transition from supersonic velocity and it is related to subsonic flow or subsonic velocity and the most important part is the process across the shock wave is adiabatic and non-isotropic that means this process is irreversible process now i will come to the types of shock waves we, basically we have three types of shock wave normal shock wave oblique bow shock wave now in this topic i will also focus on expansion shock wave too now let's highlight a uh, normal shock wave so what is mean by normal shock wave when a wave which is perpendicular to the normal see this is a normal so when this is a flow to, from the flow when a wave is creating perpendicular from the flow it is called as a normal shock wave and what is another condition and what is another condition it should be the flow should be supersonic in the upstream region it should be supersonic in the upstream region and the properties like Mach number velocity pressure that is static pressure density static density temperature entropy entropy then um, stagnation pressure um, uh, stagnation enthalpy stagnation temperature this are all ahead and behind you can see we call as a downstream and downstream what happens across the shock wave the property changes so now we'll see how the property changes when it goes across the shock wave see here how it changes um, the Mach number velocity and uh, stagnation pressure decreases whereas static properties like pressure te density temperature and entropy increases next comes oblique shock wave so what is mean by oblique shock wave when a shock wave is inclined with respect to the upstream flow this is an upstream flow and when the flow is inclined at some angle this is not perpendicular so how it, the normal shock wave is different from oblique shock wave of, of normal shock wave is 90 degree and oblique shock wave is inclined at some angle that's the difference and uh, this oblique shock wave encounters a form at a corner and when the corner is effectively turn the flow into itself okay you remember one more thing and um, and compresses these are the few factors which uh, which uh, create an oblique shock wave right okay and in my next video i will tell you a detail about oblique shock wave so here in this uh, topic i'm focusing only the basic properties of oblique shock wave so these are the upstream properties and downstream properties so from the upstream property all this property are gonna change when it is going on a when it's moving across the oblique shock wave so let's see how what are the changes in oblique shock wave the properties whereas you see the mach number velocity and the stagnation pressure what is happening they are decreasing in nature and whereas the static pressure density and the temperature entropy they are increasing in nature the same as a normal shock wave properties 
and uh, enthalpy and uh, total uh, stagnation uh, total or uh, stagnation temperature remains same across the normal shock wave or as well as the oblique shock wave um now let me discuss about a bohr shock wave what is bohr shock wave in other name of bohr shock wave it is also known as detached shock wave or a curved normal shock wave so this shock wave and we know the shock wave always produce when it is in a supersonic flow and its property is adiabatic property and uh, this property when after or across the shock wave the speed or a velocity changes to an subsonic flow that is a basic uh, property of a shock wave and whereas the pressure and the static natures increases now let know you should know that when there is a occurrence of bohr shock wave um i will focus come to the point like when there is a blunt body just imagine imagine a blunt body you can see the figure here blunt body whose uh, leading edge is curved or blunt in shape or we can say it's not sharp so when this blunt body is traveling in an supersonic flow or a Mach number greater than one or you can say a very good example as a commercial aircraft like uh, uh, Airbus or Boeing uh, these are flying on a supersonic flow just like a fighter aircraft so what happens if those kind of flight is trying to fly in a sub so Mach number more than 1.2 or 2 then what happens a uh, shock wave forms which is in curved in nature so what happens on that time due to that no, uh, shock wave th those shock waves are not attached with the body those shock waves are not attached with the body due to that what happens there is an increase in drag thus causes an increase in drag and uh, this flow already you know the process is non-isentropic and uh, due to since since uh, uh, this uh, the body is not attached this curve is not attached with the body it creates an sonic line see in the figure you can see here it causes an sonic line okay so within this what happens this decelerate to subsonic and above the sonic line it creates a uh, again Mach number increases there it may cause a shock wave over the structure but there is a problem there if there is an occurrence of shock wave over the structure there may be a chances of structural damage in a structural point of view but uh, here I'm just giving an overview of the reason of Bohr shock wave over here so I hope this uh, um, concept was clear what's the reason of Bohr shock wave if there is a blunt body and that blunt body is moving in a supersonic region or supersonic flow what happens the drag increases due to that uh, shock wave couldn't attach with the blunt body due to the increase in uh, drag what happens the, the aircraft cannot move forward as as it should uh, move forward so what happens the flow decelerate down right and the flow uh, occurs in the shock wave and the norm so the flow across the bow shock wave is uh, non isentropic these are i hope this concept was clear the reason of bow shock wave the main thing it creates or increase drag unlike other shock wave next comes uh, expansion shock wave this expansion shock wave uh, classific uh, it's it's apart from classification of shock wave so what, well, the two dimensional wave occurring in a supersonic flow is torn away from itself okay and uh, across there's no change in entropy and this process is an isentropic process please make a note of it see i have made it in a bowl later this process is an isentropic process 
now let's see here this is a upstream and this is a downstream so when there is a occurrence of expansion shock wave when the corner see here is a corner see here is a corner so this is a horizontal line this is a horizontal line and from this point what is happening this is turning away from itself this is deflecting the other edges is deflecting downwards so when from the horizontal the second edge is deflecting downwards this can cause an expansion shock wave and this kind of uh, edges if it is kept under supersonic region there is a chances of expansion shock wave so let's see what is the change in properties in expansion shock wave and um, uh, within the property so see here what is happening the Mach number across the shock wave uh, or expansion shock wave so what you can see the Mach number across the expansion shock wave increases and the velocity also increases then the static pressure static density and a static temperature decreases whereas in other hand oblique and normal they have a reverse process so um come to the oblique and expansion shock wave here in oblique and expansion shock wave we'll see how we can classify and distinguish between two shock waves here comes the picture now look at the picture carefully see here at the point a the figure a the point a capital a so from that point what is happening so from that point what is happening the another age the second half of the age is going upward inclining upward at the angle theta huh? and go, look at the next one that is a concave one the next one is a convex corner from the point a from the horizon dotted line is a horizon it is inclining downwards what what angle theta angle so you make a point so now go to the first image uh, figure one look at the figure one what happens oh, when the uh, uh, when the object is uh, from the horizon is tilting to upwards from the horizon when the wage or when uh, any from the horizon it is inclining upwards that is that that may cause an oblique shock wave see then the second figure when the object or when the second half of the object is inclining downwards at the angle theta this may lead to an expansion shock wave and of course you know that with the properties and let me discuss what a change in properties over here here the Mach number velocity and uh, stagnation pressure decreases in oblique whereas in uh, expansion shock whereas in expansion shock wave Mach number velocity across the expansion shock wave it is increases and the stagnation pressure is constant next comes here the static properties static properties like static properties like a uh, pressure density temperature and uh, entropy increases in oblique whereas the static pressure density and temperature decreases in expansion shock wave but entropy remains constant across the shock wave next comes the total enthalpy and total temperature are constant for oblique shock wave whereas here also the same for expansion shock wave but in expansion shock wave and the entropy to total pressure enthalpy and temperature are constant the um, you should memorize this concept so you can answer to this mcq 
i hope this will be a very easy and i will tell you one more thing like uh, you might have a confusion like which one is less than or greater than uh you know less the letter less start like a letter like l so you remember that yeah you remember that and so m2 is so m2 is less than 1 it's like l remember it's a l so that means less so whereas the reverse of l you can um the reverse whereas in the reverse of l you can say it is uh, what is reverse greater than so likewise you can remember what is less than and greater than now i will come to some common questions uh mcq that is a multiple choice question which is uh, basically asked from this topic especially from this topic let's come to the first question shock wave are highly localized irreversible inflow they ask whether this statement is true or false see the answer is it's true irreversible because what is the fact the basic fact is the shock wave is adiabatic and non-isentropic that is irreversible that was it then next question normal shock wave can be treated as shock wave parallel to the flow no see uh, the parallel to the flow is not a normal shock wave perpendicular to the flow is a normal shock wave so the statement see the answer is will be false it's a false because normal shock wave is treated as perpendicular to the flow a very basic questions conceptual questions from supersonic to subsonic state what happens so it's a norm it's a or oblique shock wave what happens when moving so what happens the pressure increases velocity decreases so both mentioned above all of the above or um, so when a uh, passes from supersonic to subsonic state so what happens the velocity decreases and pressure increases so both c and d is the right choice and uh, shock wave is a thin region in which they are a shock wave is a thin region in which there is a certain decrease of pressure temperature velocity all of the above see when it decreases i have said so it comes from supersonic to subsonic region so velocity decreases so option is c is a right option next question supersonic air going through an incipient shock wave which will decrease its speed so what is happening here um shock wave is decreased its speed speed is decreasing so see that the, that is there what is happening behind it all the static property decreasing that is a pressure density temperature and entropy is decreasing so uh, see all the factors should be decreased that is uh, which one sorry increases uh, c c is a right option next comes in normal shock wave in one dimensional flow the entropy remains constant entropy remains across the shock wave entropy decreases across the shock wave the velocity pressure density across increases across the sh shock wave so we know when the entropy is constant only in case of uh, expansion shock wave so other cases what is happening the static is increasing so uh, where is increasing C? The option B. Okay. The last question: the flow on two side of a shock wave is. Uh, see the two side you know that is a uh, one side is a supersonic, another side the subsonic. So of course the answer is D. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.